Hello, my name is Eddie Tofpig. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Market Analyst at ADM Investor Service International Limited, and here is your weekly technical analysis of New York and London sugar markets. I'll start with ice raw sugar in New York. The core of the bullish support here remains the lower tine of the December 2020 to April 2021 bullish shift pitchfork, currently at 1771. I've highlighted the pitchfork tines in blue so you can visualize them more clearly. This caused the latest rise in the market from the extraordinary vault face back up made last Monday, which terminated last Friday over all the moving averages and then knocking on the door of the early August today upper bull channel line currently at 1882. I've highlighted the bull channel line in red to help visualize this as well. It was also just short of the April to date downtrend currently at 1883 though, as this is really only a two pointer after the market avoided testing it in mid October, I'm inclined to regard it as an ancillary or additional resistance to the upper bull channel line. The only time this downtrend might possibly feature, and I say might, is if you look at it along with a lower time as a possible sideways triangle. This is not an elegant solution, though I would still suggest keeping an eye on it. The only other feature I'd suggest considering at the moment is to look at what I've called a bull channel as possibly a shallowly rising rectangle pattern stretching back to the mid-July high as the start. There are some possibilities in this, but I'm more inclined to just keep an eye on this proposed pattern for now. Ice Europe White Sugar in London Since mid-September, this market has been dominated by the one action, the changeover gap. One can say a lot of things about what happened beforehand, beforehand but the changeover gap here on a continuous daily chart is really big. The action stretches from roughly the September 2016 high at 6.19 even down to the 50% Fibonacci line of the July 21 today action at 5.22.80 and the congestion seen in early 2017 at 5.17.80. The actual gap is from 5.41 even to 6.03.60 and there has been a number of attempts initially tepid in September but more active in mid-October to try and fill in. These recent attempts higher peaked out just over the February 2017 high at 565 even. And we saw prices come down quite a lot since then to a low at the end of October that had a surprising reversion back up from the congestion from early 2017 in the 514 and a half area last Monday. It was done with a two day bullish separating lines pattern, but we've seen limited further tries higher, mainly because the market is running into the long moving average resistance currently 540.10 overhead. Now I say that last Monday's reversion back up was surprising, but if you look closely we have a translucent zone of support between 522.80, the 50% Fibonacci line, the July 21 to September 22 move down, at, to, the, down to the 509 and a half area. The other key levels within that zone are at 514.5 and 517.80. Hence this support in depth has been the reason why prices have been supported here there in the first place. And given there is little apart from some recent action between there and the overhead long moving average, that would explain why we are where we are. Beyond the long moving average, the next key level is the combination of the March 2017 high at 548.70 the lesser Fibonacci line at the same level, plus the currently transient but slowly heading lower short medium moving average, currently 548.40 and the medium moving average, currently also 548.40. Just on these names, it looks like for now that with all that then packed into that tight space, tight area, that the overhead resistance is a sufficient hold down prices. But please bear in mind, these will soon separate and it'll be interesting to see if any an opportunity presents itself topside. As for the downside, well, though translucent, it still seems solid enough right now. Sugar White Premium Spread. I've previously spoken about two big picture items seen here on this weekly chart. We have the recurring big old bullish Andrews pitchfork from 2019 to 2021, highlighted in blue, with the market currently in between the lower time below currently 78 and three quarters and the middle time above currently 152 and three quarters. Though breached and since mended this pitchfork is still showing the bullish angle of attack. We also have an ascending expanding wedge pattern 
highlighted in red trend lines that has been formed since mid-April. Currently 140.5 on the downside to right off the top of my weekly chart on the top side. To me, it was and is still not the best looking pattern I've ever seen, but it is also still there and it comes with all the possibilities such a pattern can invoke. A sub point has been the monthly key reversal down we saw in September. Despite what has happened since, which seems to justify this selection, please still take this monthly key reversal with a pinch of salt, as the earlier monthly key reversal down we saw in July did not work out so well. Nevertheless, it still seems to be just a justified point. The most recent activity has been the, the last week's combination of a bearish engulfing pattern, with the top being the neckline, highlighted in bright green, currently at 142.5, leading to a test this week of the next support below, and that's the rising long moving average, currently 121 even. Below the long moving average, we really have nothing much until the late April, early May congestion, based around the lesser Fibonacci lines at 104.5 and 107.5. The core of this congestion is in the 102 even to 107 even zone. So with all these actions and points, it's time to look at possible targets below for the break below the ascending expanding wedge pattern. Thus, potential target X on the downside will be in the 102 zone, just below the late April to early May congestion. Thank you for listening. This weekly broadcast gives essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted with this broadcast. Copyright is Eddie Topic and ADM Investor Services International Limited. And here comes the final bit.